2014 was not the year for Colby Scott, who constantly dodged the bullets. No, they just blew up. That aplastic anemia shot his way, causing his bone marrow not to produce enough red blood cells. Colby, look at this! It was his younger brother Carson who donated his own cells to make his brother better again. I got to find my place. A charismatic hero with an interesting perspective on what Colby was going through. Don't hit me! Very, very, very sick. And if he gets a disease, he's dead. Months after Carson gave Kobe his own bone marrow, everything seemed to be going okay. You shoot, Kobe. But one year later, the Scots found some bruising on the back of the now nine-year-old's neck, and it was deja vu. You hop up here, Kobe. More doctor's appointments and less hair because of a return of aplastic anemia. It's really tight. Yeah, they are. One in ten patients go through this a second time, yeah. and Colby is listed as one of the unlucky 10%. Right I had a sore throat. Heartbroken. Very bad. Very Just disappointed. We were so close. I just felt like we were so close to getting away from all this. And then it hurts at all? Lisa's son spent 59 days at Tufts Floating Children's Hospital after his younger brother gave up his bone marrow for round two. May the force be with you. The chemo treatments were much stronger this time around. Vomit. It makes you sick, physically sick. Shakes. And um, I know what it does to your hair, makes you bald. Your brother does all the talking for you. Carson still shares his child's perspective on his brother's illness. Blood, humor going, bone marrow, are really big words. Making a name for himself around the halls of the transplant wing. Uh, Colby's more quiet and Carson's more gregarious, but um, it's a lot. You know, we put Carson in the operating room, put him on his belly, and put two needles in each side of his, uh, the hip bone on his lower back. A heart-wrenching thing for his parents to go through once, almost unbearable twice. You just don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. And doing this the second time around, we're getting out more. The Scots have made it a point not to confine themselves to the waiting rooms and hallways of hospitals, but have instead decided to get out and explore what the city of Boston has to offer. The parks, the beach. Frisbee, baseball. And those Nerf guns that the brothers love so much at home somehow found themselves in a hospital overnight bag. Turn the corner to see him, you know, I do it. You know, slowly, because uh, I know there's a lot of that going on. Take it. Get my ticket. Fighting aplastic anemia a second time isn't easy. But luckily, Colby has the distractions kids look forward to in his room. Figure out which button to hit. And his talkative little brother by his side to help him make it through the entire way. I lost one of my wheels. I'm going down. I'm going down. Number 26. I need a better camera. Yeah.